to my channel and welcome to day three of the keto summer slim down this morning i woke up definitely a little bit sore from that workout i did last night getting back into the gym i am definitely going to be feeling it because my body is just not used to working out anymore so we are changing that during this journey and working out just about every single day this morning, as always, I'm just up and at them getting ready for work. I am about to make myself some iced coffee. I might eat something because I am a little bit hungry today. So let's start off making some iced coffee. So first things first, as you know, you pour the coffee in. Now I am going to add two servings of my heavy whipping cream, which is equal to 30 milliliters. Perfect. And look at that beautiful heavy cream swirl going throughout the coffee. Wow. Favorite part of iced coffee is that for sure. Up next, just a little stevia. Stir it up. Topping it off with a little bit more coffee. And the iced coffee for the morning is complete just warmed up one serving of my egg casserole that i cooked i am going to eat that for breakfast going to work on my iced coffee since we're going to baytown tomorrow holy moly it's tomorrow today is thursday Woohoo! i'm so excited um i'm trying to finish up all the leftovers in our fridge and we have a lot right now and i don't know how we're gonna get them all finished before we leave town we'll figure out a way i guess i don't know <laughs> Let's dig into some egg casserole. So what makes this egg casserole so good is the cream cheese chunks in it. It's just, I love the taste of like melted cream cheese. So fabulous. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's that time of the day again where I grab all my junk and head out the door and go to work. I will see y'all at lunchtime. Come on, let's go. So I actually just got to work a little bit early and I figured I would give you a rundown of my day because today is going to be a super busy day for me. I don't know how I'm going to get it all done, but if there's a will, there's a way. So I work until 5 today and then after I work, I've got to get my oil changed because I'm past due for an oil change. And I believe we're going to take my car to Baytown tomorrow so that we can put our fishing rods in the back. And we can do some extra fishing this weekend and bring our rods with us. So, I've got to get an oil change. I also have another video that I have to film and edit tonight. On top of editing this video, what else do I have to do? I need to go to the gym. I've got a pack for my trip home tomorrow. I've just got all kinds of stuff to do and it's going to be a busy day but like always I'm gonna take y'all along with me we're gonna get it all accomplished no matter what so it is now time for me to head into work let's get this day started Woo! also can you see the excitement on Bo's face doesn't he look so excited to go to work I feel ya, bud. I feel ya. <laughs> Why do you look so sad? I know you're not. I know you're not. And I'm back at home for lunch. So for the past hour and a half, I have been literally counting every single minute until it was time for me to come to lunch. I am like unusually just starving today like i've been thinking about food for like the past two hours and like lunch i really do not understand why i am so hungry because i ate breakfast i had coffee like i had a good amount of calories and fat this morning however i have just been like ravenous so for my lunch today i am a creature of habit and yesterday's lunch was so delicious this tuna salad with these flacker crackers i am just going to do the exact same thing one serving of tuna salad one serving of these sea salt 
flacker flax seed crackers so that is going to be my lunch and i'm about to eat it right this moment because i'm gonna gnaw my arm off here in a minute if um i don't eat something <laughs> i really do not understand my extreme hunger right now like i usually don't eat breakfast but i ate breakfast today and i'm starving i don't know i don't know time to eat lunch i will check in with y'all after i am not feeling quite as crazy all right it is time to dig in this is going to be so good just finished lunch and my tuna salad was just as good as yesterday those flackers I'm almost out now and I've got to figure out where to get more of these. They didn't have this flavor on Amazon, so I guess I need to do more research than just typing in flackers into Amazon. Guess I'll work on that. Anyways, it is time for me to take my two supplements that I take at lunchtime now. That is this Pura Thrive Keto Balance. This is like my little keto treat because I'm craving something sweet. So this is kind of like a taste of chocolate pudding. And then I'm going to do my B12. Maybe give me some energy because I am dragging today. It is hard for me to keep my eyes open. So B12 is hopefully going to be to the rescue. You ready? And now weighing out my 15 milliliters of Keto Balance. Right here, this is what it looks like. Mm. So this is going to be like my little daily treat before I head out the door and go back to work. One thing that is great about this Keto Balance product is that it has 400 milligrams of omega-3s. And omega-3s are usually found in foods like salmon, fish, you know, and... People like me who probably don't eat enough fish are probably nutrient deficient in omega-3s. So that is one of the main things about this product is it is supposed to help balance your omega-3s and your omega-6s. Every time I ask Bo if he wants to go on a walk, he has to go get a bite of food real quick for energy. You ready to go for a walk? This Two bites of food and we're ready to go. Are you a happy pup? What is it, Bobo? What is it? Happy dog, happy, happy dog. You ready? Come on. All right, so it is time for me to head back to work. So I'm giving a few last minute puppy squeezes before I head out the door. And he just wants to sniff my breath and see what I've been eating. Typical Bo. Alright guys, check in with y'all when work is over for the day. After work, I have to go get an oil change. Fingers crossed, it won't take too long, but I've got to do it. I'm overdue, and we're driving a long ways this weekend. So, doing the right thing, getting an oil change, but still have so much left to do today. I will check in with y'all in just a little while. off of work it is actually like 607 right now I got my oil changed and I just stopped at Walgreens and I did pick myself up a snack it's one of these pepperoni I don't know how to say it but it's just like pepperoni wrapped around cheese I really don't understand why I'm so hungry today maybe because I went to the gym I really don't know maybe my body's just working harder because I actually did something <laughs> I don't know but I picked up this snack because I am hungry and then I'm gonna go home and cook dinner here in just a little bit so I'm headed home right now let's go I am now back home after work after getting my oil changed and now I'm going to throw together a super simple dinner I don't feel like cooking anything elaborate I was gonna make that egg roll in a bowl tonight but that requires a lot of cooking well not that much but 
I'm just feeling lazy because I have some other stuff I've got to do tonight. So what I'm going to do is I have one lone zucchini that needs to be eaten. So I am going to just slice this up along with a tiny bit of red onion and I'm just going to throw it on a baking sheet and I'm gonna bake it in the oven. Additionally, I'm going to make a low carb chili dog bake. It's super simple. So this is that Skyline chili that I found and it has 250 calories in a serving. It has 15 grams of fat, but it's only got two net carbs. Count this gal in. And then I'm going to slice up some hot dogs and shred some cheese on top and pop it in the oven at like, I don't know, 350 or 400. I don't know how to make up a temperature. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Probably 400 so the veggies will like roast too. So yeah, it's going to be a three ingredient low carb chili dog casserole. Hopefully it turns out. I'm just all about doing something super quick tonight so I can get it in the oven and we can eat because I'm still hungry even after that little pepperoni roll. Let's cook dinner. <laughs> all right, so I am going to throw these vegetables out on the pan. This is some leftover red onion that needs to be eaten or else it'll go bad. So I'm just kind of ripping that up and going to spread it out. Also, I sliced up that zucchini. Just dumping that like that. I'll probably season this a little bit and I'll just throw them in the oven to roast. Maybe I'll throw on a little olive oil. I don't know. I didn't really do this with much of a plan to be completely honest. All right, we're just gonna kind of see how this works. I have some coconut oil spray. I'm literally just going to spray the tops of these veggies with coconut oil. And going to season them with some of this Lowry's seasoned salt. This is just my favorite seasoned salt. And I'm just going to throw them in the oven like that and roast them. So yeah, I'm just kind of making dinner on a whim tonight and going to see how it turns out. For the chili dog casserole, I am using these Oscar Mayer Angus Beef Uncured Franks. These have less than one carb per hot dog, which is why I choose to use these. They taste great. So I'm about to just chop them up into little sections. Look at that little bow right there, making sure that I make sure these weenies get cut up correctly. But yeah, I'm gonna cut up probably five or six of these, throw them in the pan, and then we'll add the chili and top it with cheese. Super easy. I just chopped up my weenies and I'm going to put them in the bottom of this little baking dish. And now I'm going to pour this chili over the top of the hot dogs. This is a very soupy chili. And the very last thing I'm going to do is I just had Cody grate me up some cheese. So this is extra sharp cheddar cheese. And I'm sorry guys, I'm not gonna have the accurate macros for this. I'm kind of just throwing it together because I have some other stuff I've got to do tonight. So I'm not gonna have accurate macros today. I'm very sorry. But yeah, just topping this with some cheese and about to throw it in the oven. I just pulled dinner out of the oven after being in there for about 20 minutes. So the vegetables look cooked all the way through. The chili dog bake is definitely a little bit liquidy, but you know, we'll just make it work. We'll just scoop it into a bowl and it will be just fine. So this is going to be dinner is a serving of this, a serving of veggies. Dinner is served. The red onion had a little bit too much seasoned salt on it, so we picked out the zucchini. We have a little bowl of our chili dog casserole, and it is time for us to dig in. Checking in, it is 9.45 now, and I never got the chance to go to the gym. I decided that it would be a great idea to wake up at the bright and early hour of 4 a.m so that I can film the video that I needed to film tonight, but I'm just feeling kind of tired. My stomach doesn't feel very good. So I just decided that I'm going to sleep on it, wake up bright and early, get that video filmed and edited, get this one edited tonight, take a shower, feel much better. Yeah, that's what's going on here. However, 
I didn't make it to the gym. So I wanted to do something. So I got on Google, typed in booty exercise band workout, and I found this 10 exercise booty building workout that you use these bands for. These are from Man Sports, but you can use any exercise band that you want. This has multiple bands in it. And I'm just gonna follow the workout I found on Google. I'll show you all the 10 moves I do. I'm going to do the circuit two times. It'll probably only take me 10 to 15 minutes to do, but I'll move those muscles. I'll work them just a little bit. So it is better than nothing when I just didn't have the time to go to the gym. Lots of stuff that I was doing tonight. Enjoy this little booty building circuit workout. Let's do it. Y'all, I thought this little booty band workout was gonna be like easy peasy. I'm sweating, my face is red. I'm gonna link this workout down below so y'all can give it a try too. It's killer. I didn't think I could be this tired from some bands. <laughs> awesome workout. Even though I didn't have time to get into the gym, I feel so accomplished that I just googled a booty exercise band workout and my heart rate is pumping, I'm worked up a sweat, and I just feel so great that I just did something to move. Today, unfortunately, life just kind of got the best of me. I've been a little stressed today. I think I might have had too much caffeine today. It gave me a little bit of anxiety. Got really stressed for no reason. I think that's part of why my stomach is worked up. However, I'm feeling a lot better. Getting my heart rate going is just kind of good for the soul. Getting that sweat on. I'm glad I did that little booty building workout. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry I do not have macros to track today, but I will be back tracking macros tomorrow. If I were to guess, I'd say that I was around 1,700 calories today based on where I stopped tracking, which was dinner. So, it is what it is. Anyways, I am about to head off to bed. Well, I have to shower first because I'm kind of gross, but I have to be up bright and early tomorrow. I hope that y'all have enjoyed day three of the Keto Summer Slim Down. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on any videos. And I will see y'all again tomorrow with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.